Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today we're doing another haul video on Ben's bags from St. Louis because we're leaving in five days to go back to St. Louis or to Missouri but we'll be in St. Louis next week. If you're in that area you want to meet up please send us a message either through the what Rebel at Rebel Reseller yeah, rebel at the rebel reseller dot com dot com on my Facebook page yeah, um, or Facebook. in the comments. Yeah, we're happy to meet up, have lunch, go source at the bins, yep. go hit up a thrift store, whatever. We we enjoy meeting people. Yep. So let us know. Probably. I don't know. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is the plan. It may only be two days. I haven't decided. I don't. I don't know. I haven't finished these bins bags. We got. Three left over there. Three after these. Mm -hmm. okay. Plus plus several small ones. Three out through. Yep. All right. I'll just grab the first one here in my hand. It is Russ. His name is Midas. Probably going to be bread and butter. But right. touch him, I'll turn to gold. I already touched him. Hang on here. Let me adjust this camera. Yeah, You're already gold. High. You're already gold in my yeah, heart. My. All right. Just a... Uh, Plain gunned teddy bear. Probably going to be bread and butter also. This one's intriguing. It needs a bath. Put N Y G B. Ooh, that's it. There's no other tag. It's been cut. That's what it says. N Y. It looks like G B, but it is knit. I don't know. I like it. I'm hoping 20 plus for it. I'll see if Robert can figure something out. Look, I'm late for these, but then again, Christmas sells all year long. Last year, January is usually really, really good for me also. Um, people are spending, you know, Christmas money, um, picking up stuff that they're going to just pack away for next year. So, I don't know. Oh, here it is. This is Russ. Look how cute. I've had something very similar to this. Price still going to be like ten to twelve dollars. Oh, I was going to say this looks like one of the Cinderella mice, and guess what? It's got an old Walt Disney tag here on the side. It's got some knots in his tail. I'll try to get that out. Doesn't look like they're too tight. I don't know. I've not had one of these before, so he's got some bins straw. Always seems to be straw in those. I don't know. I'm hoping, let's say, ten to fifteen dollars for him. Oh, I like this. Look, it's got a Scholastics tag. Schol yeah, Scholastic tag, which means he's gone to some type of book. 2018. It's not really saying anything else. He probably still is only going to be bread and butter. All right. So he's in the. 10 to 30 range, probably. 10 to 25 range, right? I'm just okay. guessing. But I finally saw a listing that didn't just have NYGB. It said, NYGB, not your grandma's blanket. That's very intriguing. Very interesting. All right, so 10 to 30. That's kind of a range there. Oh, look how cute. This is a Sprite from Rainbow Bright. Let's see if it's official. Yep. Look, Rainbow Bright Hallmark Licensing. It doesn't look old, though. So I'm guessing maybe they put some new stuff out. I don't know. No clue. Very clean. This is a big Rodney Reindeer. The other two that I've sold recently were nylon, where he's that same fabric as the others, but he's got lots of wear. Not sure... It just says reindeer. Oh, I bet you he's not Rodney. He may just be a reindeer. Don't know. Yeah. You got a story about selling a Rodney. Yes. I told you guys in either this last what sold video or the one before, somebody accidentally ordered one of these large ones from me, and I only caught on to the fact that they were ordering the wrong size when she said she was glad that she was able to finish the set of them. And then I knew that... It wasn't. 
But so I told the story. So you, so you messaged the buyer and she said, cancel it. Cancel it because she wanted the little ones that I've been selling. But today in my Facebook group, April made a, a post saying that she thinks that the buyer who I had to cancel on um, because she ordered the wrong size bought from her because she, I guess the buyer had told her that she, you know, the same story. She had had to cancel because it was the wrong size and she wanted to confirm the size that April had. And so we think my buyer bought from a viewer. So I think that's kind of, kind of fun, small world. After all. Mm -hmm. All right. This is, it's play school. Um, play and carry sky wishes. This is my little pony. It is 2006, so not quite vintage. It'd be nice if I opened this and it was in there, but no, it's just a little carry case. I'm thinking probably 10 to $15. Commonwealth, that's a different tag. I don't normally see this one. It's got just something on it, but it says it's 2011. I all know me and the rabbits. Probably going to be 10 to 15. I like this. It is Russ. Look, my first puppy. It needs a bath. I don't know. 10 to 15 dollars maybe. Oh. Oh. My brain is thinking this might be a good thing. I know it's Ikea. I know it's the Bernese dog. For some reason, I think I've sold him recently, and he was better than normal for me as far as the Ikea plush. So, of course, I'm always looking. This is why they're never there, because this is the tags for Ikea. Yep. Now I will be very careful, because I talked about the pink elephant that I found. It had long tags like this, but nowhere on there did it say Ikea. Or this one says Ikea on it. And uh, this is vintage, um, I want to say puppy surprise, kitty surprise from Hasbro, 1992. And look, she has a baby. Let's see. Oh, nope. Just one baby. So, I don't know. I'm hoping maybe $15 to $20. This is intriguing. Let's see. Oh, no brand. Oh, and a tear in the air. Never mind. But it was cute. It was cute, but I'm going to slow down at the bins this time. Famous last words. <laughs> Check for condition issues. All right. Love picking up the vintage glow worms. However, this one does not have the stick in it. I'm thinking I'll still be able to sell it as a replacement. But look, this one's the reversible one. I'm not sure. I'm hoping maybe 20 bucks for it. And y'all, there was a time, and it may still be here somewhere. I Anytime I bought these and they didn't work or they had really bad stains and I decided not to sell them, I kept those light sticks. So I might have to go look for that tote. I think it's back here in the corner somewhere. I might have a light stick for it. Now, I think I have one of these. Maybe it's the boy, because this one looks like a girl, but it is Jimmy. I'll have to change the batteries. It does have replaceable batteries. I'm sure it just talks or plays music or something, but I'm positive I've got something very similar. I love this. Oh, it's all Greek to me. Can anybody tell you why I love this? <laughs> Purple. Probably still going to be bread and butter. This, yeah. Animal Adventure 2019. If I've got one that's similar to this, I may go ahead and make a lot. That's what I've been doing today. Some of my Aurora plush and my Itty Bitties, I ended current listings and I'm making larger lots with them. That's that's the goal for next year. So you mentioned purple. So yesterday in my Duolingo Spanish lesson, 
I learned the word for purple. Which is? I don't remember. Oh. I only saw it once. Oh. I'll have to see it again a couple times before it sticks in my head, probably. Well, this is intriguing. This is a baby toy rattle, but it is the petting zoo. For the most part, the petting zoo normally is like 6 to $10 for me. If I have another baby rattle in that same brand, I may go ahead and make a lot. You know, this time when we go to the bins, we've decided if we find seasonal stuff, we're going to separate it. At least all the seasonal in its own bags. You know, if we're really good, then we can do Christmas in a bag and Halloween, Valentine's. But at least get the seasonal stuff sorted out so we don't have stuff like this. All right, this is also Jimmy. Let's see. Oh, yay. It says animated, but I, oh, here we go. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he moves. He like waddles on the sled. I don't know. I'm hoping 15 to 20. He needs a little bit of a wipe down. He's just kind of a little discolored. Morado. 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 I have picked up a couple of these this year. If I've got one listed, I may just go ahead and add him also. But he's like the Idaho potato advertising plush. Very cute. So, my parents, they always called these spuds. Mm -hmm. Taters. Spuds. Taters. And that was my nickname. Dad still calls me that sometimes because apparently I ate a lot of them. All right. Here is a puppet. I'm trying to see what the brand is. Oh, Dream. Dream USA. But it's one of the glove. That's when you can put your hands in and all your fingers fit in these little holes. Um, it's a glove puppet. It's probably going to be bread and butter. I thought maybe this was um, Beethoven, but I don't think so. Looks a little different. Yeah. But it's saying Zoll M series. I have no clue what that means. I'm thinking somebody's added that to it. Because it doesn't really have anything else on there. And it doesn't say that on the tag. It says New Orleans Orleans Plush Ink. I don't know. I'm thinking I'll list it for either 15 or 20. And then this is Walmart 2019. Probably going to be bread and butter. But it had a purple tie. I think I have... A smaller version of this listed if I didn't sell it already. I don't know. Doesn't have that, but I tend to pick up most things Scooby Doo. So I looked up your Zoll M series. It's a defibrilla defibrillator. I wonder what that's all about then. With it's a just a plush. Plush. There, there was one sold on eBay for twenty with free shipping. Then there's one for listed for twenty with shipping, and one like twelve with plus shipping. Oh, the same dog? Yeah, the same dog. Oh, I but, just thought maybe somebody attached a tag to it. No, it's the... It's, it's the, just an the advertising. Deal. It's a drug mug kind of thing. Oh, oh, this is dirty. But this is Club Penguin. Now, if you find the penguins, oh, those have some amazing comps. I, had, I used to find them all the time and sell them, you know, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen dollars. But now the prices have gone way up. I can't remember what this one's called, this particular series. But I don't know if I've had a big one like this. I'll have to check to see if these do as well as the penguins. I know why I grabbed this. First and foremost, it is Eden. Hold on, you guys can't see that. But this was the tag a lot of times that I find. But it has a Cabbage Patch dress on. So I will be taking that off. I won't have a dress for her, but I don't know. I'm hoping maybe 20 plus for her. And then the dress, I'll probably either put it with another dress or sell it by itself. Let me see where was this one made. Taiwan. So yeah, it's older. That yellow thing was a puffle. Puffle. That's it. 
All right, Kelly Toy. And should have a date. Yep, 2015. I find these probably quite often. They're mostly bread and butter. You know, this will be like teal green stripes. So if he called the balls and strikes at a baseball game, would he be a puffalo? You don't even get a smile. This is cute, but no tag. It kind of makes me think Animal um, Alley. Toys R Us. I don't know. We'll see. Probably going to be like 15 to 20. This is so cute. And look, it's Thai, y'all. I still buy Thai, but just not really the beanies. 2006 pink angel named Faithful. I don't know how much it's worth. I'm hoping maybe 10 to $15. I have found these a couple of times. Look, Teddy Precious is the name of the bear. Probably, no, Dandy International. This dress is like very stiff. Look, it has its paper tag. It's a bride. It's got, this, it seems to be a little discolored, but I don't think I'm going to do anything to it because the dress just seems too much to try to clean just this lace. I'm afraid of this dress. But I'm hoping to list it maybe 30, 30, 40, 50, somewhere in there. Of course, look, Manhattan toy. Not sure if maybe there was, yeah. Did you hear something? Or did I just make that up in my head? I don't know. I'm not sure if maybe it had baby bunnies. It sounded like it went, Cha. I thought something, but then nothing else is happening. I don't know. There's no battery pack that I can feel. I don't know. That was Probably going to be bread and butter because you heard something too, I heard too, something right? too. Oh, dirty, dirty. It is Circo Unicorn. I don't do very well with unicorns, but you never know. It is one of those hanging. It probably um, had a blanket that it was hugging. I'm hoping maybe $10 for it. Look, I'll tend to pick up most Teletubbies. Hopefully this one's going to work. The good thing about these is their pack, their music box, um, is removable, and then you can just throw these in the wash. Unfortunately, once you start washing these, they get lots and lots of um, fuzz balls on them. I have some other Spark Create Imagine rattle ring plush like this. Maybe it's the same one, but we'll have to wait and see. But I'll probably try to make a lot with it. is Walgreens. I don't know. Big O dinosaur. Oh, and it's got this, these, these, I talk about these every time I show you guys a plush with them. Don't wash this. Don't wash it. All of this little stuff is just like layered on there. And if you try to put this in the washing machine, guess what? All of that goes over every single thing in your wash. No idea. I'm thinking this is not going to fit. Not at all. In a large priority box. So I'll probably be able to squeeze it in like the 16 by 12 by 8. Maybe. Maybe. I can tuck his head or something. I don't know. I'm hoping, let's say, 25 plus for him. And then, I guess we'll end with Pooh. Let's see what's all going on here. Look how cute. He's got a heart and then a bouquet of flowers. He is Disney, but his tag's been cut. Don't know. Very nice condition. Probably going to list him maybe about $15 or $20. Maybe a little more. One more. I forgot about. 
called these. This is by Best Ever. I think there's another brand that puts something out very similar. Best Ever. Funny Feet Valentine Horse. I've done very well with these in the past. Not quite sure. It does need a bath. But I'm hoping I can just surface clean him. Because he does have his paper tag still on. And even though I use color catcher sheets, this is a whole lot of red. And sometimes it kind of bleeds a little bit onto itself. It may not get on everything else. But I'm hoping not to have to get this in the wash. But I don't know. I'm hoping like $20, $25, if not more, for him also. All right, now, that was quite a bit of toys to share with you guys. Lots of plush. Um, we're going to try to get several videos out for you guys this week so that I can have the space for the new stuff that's going to be back here in two weeks. Yep. All right, get to work. Bye.